right guys so I promised you guys a video where I was gonna talk about some spooky spooky encounters um, I really 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 want to talk about um, one that happened recently so I purchased a necklace from a client not a client I'm sorry I have, I have client on my brain because I just got done I just got done with readings um, I had purchased a necklace from a seller on Instagram that I found and it is a gorgeous um, quartz necklace with a moon a moon pendant blah, 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 blah. <laughs> actually let me get that so you could see it I should have it all ready so I could show you guys but um, hopefully I have it Yes, here it is. <laughs> um, uh, I'm in my little corner here. So I purchased this necklace from a seller on Instagram. It is a really, really cute quartz necklace, wire wrapped with a moon symbol. A moon pendant right couldn't say no to that because I love moons now <laughs> when this necklace came into the mail I could already tell it had some big stuff to it right you just you can naturally feel it so I knew there was something big with it I didn't cleanse it which I should have always cleanse stuff you buy from people even if they claim to cleanse it themselves so anyways, um, I really loved it. I wore it. The first day I wore it, something big happened at work. Um, I was yelled at by a patron. <laughs> I wore it again. I literally, basically, long story short, three times that week, I was yelled at by three different people while I was wearing the necklace, okay? And those people that were yelling at me, it wasn't just like getting upset over little things. It was calling me a racist or calling me a bitch or one of them called me a whore. Three different people. Crazy name calling. And it was just like, it was like a week. I remember telling my coworkers, it was like a week of anger. It was a week of so many angry people. And I was like, what is going on? This was so unusual. I mean... We get crazy angry people all the time, right? But nothing like that. It just felt like it was so constant. It was crazy. So the all the other thing that happened was I was I wasn't feeling good. There was a day that I was I was feeling kind of sick. It was like I was on the verge of getting really sick, but it never turned into anything. But I just didn't feel myself. <laughs> And then that one of those nights, I don't even, I can't remember like what days and stuff, you guys. It's just all, this is all in, in the week that I had this, that one week. Um, I was sleeping and my husband was next to me. He was asleep and I woke up and it was like early, early morning. I don't know what time it was, um, but I know it was really early. It was still dark out. And I had in my mind's eye, I saw a boy standing over the bed. And it scared me. <laughs> it scared me a little bit. Um, I wanted to wake my husband up and say, "Honey, there's someone. There's someone standing over the bed." But and he, and for him, he would see that as normal because he's used to me being um, like into that stuff, right? And <laughs> I don't know. It was just it caught me off guard. And I remember in that moment, and I was still kind of foggy brain because I had you know it was early in the morning when I woke up my dogs <laughs> they're gonna howl sorry you guys let's just listen to them sing when they hear sirens outside they have to howl they get all into it Okay, <laughs> I think that's enough. Um, so, it, I remember I was thinking at that time when it happened, when I woke up, I remember thinking to myself, 
I'm seeing exactly what it was I've been wanting to see. And I know that sounds so stupid, but it's, um, I sense, I sense spirit around, right? I feel them, but I never see them. Okay. Um, and I didn't register to me until recently that people can see spirit like physical, how we see human beings. But a lot of times these mediums are seeing spirit through your eyes, your third eye in your mind. Okay. And that is exactly the experience that I had was in my mind. I was seeing him stand over the bed, like leaning over the bed. <laughs> and it was a young, it was like a young, a young person. So it was really weird. It was like one of those like, wow, who are you? <laughs> and I remember I just kind of like, I don't know what I did. I think I just closed my eyes and tried to go back to sleep. But I never said anything. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, anyways, so many interruptions, I swear. Like, I had no interruptions while I was doing my readings. And then now when I start talking about spirit, like, the phone rings, the dogs are howling, like, spirit. Spirit. Anyways. <laughs> um, hopefully, I can um, mesh these two videos together on an app I have on my phone. I don't have really cool editing software or anything like that. So, anyways. Um, all of that stuff was happening in that one week. Okay. I wasn't feeling myself. I wasn't feeling good. I was being yelled at left and right at work by different random customers. And it just felt like an, a heavy, like a, an angry vibe. So then I was, I think I was texting with one of my girlfriends and I told her about what my, you know, experiences were. And she asked me, well, did you, have you told the person that you bought this necklace from? Because I had remember thinking, Every single time I was witnessing these things, I've been wearing this necklace. And you know like when you get um, allergic to metals and you get a rash? Well, I had a rash here like right above my cleavage because that's where the necklace sits. I was getting a, a, a lot of a rash right here. And I was like thinking, um, what is this, you know? I was thinking... Is it because of the metal? Maybe my skin was allergic to it or whatever. I think it most likely is, so it's kind of a bummer because it means every time I wear it, I'm gonna get a little rash, but um, I don't know, maybe I'll figure something out. But anyways, I remember I was so irritated with the necklace because of the rash, because of everything that was happening. I mentioned the necklace to my friend, and that's when she told me, well, have you, have you messaged the person that you received it from? to ask if they've ever experienced anything paranormal. So I said, you know what, let me do that. So I sent the person, I sent this person a DM and I asked them, have you ever experienced spirit? <laughs> I go, I just have a question. Have you ever experienced spirit? Are you a medium? Do you, do you have experiences with the paranormal? And they messaged me back maybe a few hours later and they said yes, that they are a medium and they do work with spirit. They do spirit work. So then I said, okay, and then I asked, um, I go, I love, I love the pendant that I bought from you, but I have a, a question. Did you cleanse it before you mailed it to me? And this person said, oh, well, to be honest, I didn't, but I guess I probably should, huh? And I said, yes. I was very nice about it. I was not mad because I, I still love this thing. I love it. I was not mad and I think that you know maybe if it was a different circumstance where I didn't I wasn't familiar with spirit energy or energy work in, in general and I didn't know what the hell was going on I would probably be upset but because I know I mean as a reader you you should know how to cleanse your space and whatnot I knew what I was dealing with so I wasn't mad and I told her that or them that um, and I said I am not upset I actually I love my purchase but I was just curious because this is what I've been experiencing. So I told them exa exactly what I just said, what I've been experiencing. And I just said, I was just curious if you had spirit around or whatnot, because I feel like this has spirit in it. <laughs> like, I feel like whatever was there with you came over and was visiting me hovering over my bed that one day. So <laughs> um, they apologized. They were really sweet about it. They um, messaged me a couple times after that, you know, talking about mediumship. We talked about mediumship a little bit, and then that was it. So I basically gave them the tip of, yeah, if you're going to be making jewelry and sending it out to people, you should probably cleanse it. Cleanse it, please. Um, but it's also our responsibility, too. Um, when you buy something, if you don't feel 
write about it or if you feel a strong energy from it, always just cleanse it before you put it in your space because it's just being smart. Um, I cleanse decks even if they're brand new when I buy them. I always cleanse everything. So cleanse your stuff if you buy jewelry from people because you just never know. Was this a de demonic attachment? No, it's nothing like that. Um, it was just very much infused with spirit energy because they do spirit work and it just came along with it. Um, but I was experiencing, like I said, not feeling good. I was experiencing like those bad days at work and whatnot. So a lot of anger energies, which is, you know, when you're dealing with spirit or you're dealing with, what is the term that they use? Um, um, not lost souls, but like souls, spirit that hasn't gone to the light, things like that. Um, that is kind of like the, the energy that you're working with, you know? So after that, I cleansed the, the, the necklace. I even made a post on Instagram talking about reasons why to cleanse and how to cleanse, like how you can cleanse an object. So I cleansed it really well. And, um, I still wore it and I, it, that one week was just, it was just that one week. Everything subsided. Haven't had a spirit visitation from that little boy <laughs> that was looking over the bed. Um, it was just like that one time, but it was very, it was crazy. It was like, it was just one of those moments. It was like, wow, that was different. That was something I've never experienced before. Um, but it was nothing to be afraid of. It was just something just different. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I wanted for two things. One, to share a spooky story, even though it wasn't really that spooky, but two, also to share the fact that if you do purchase stuff from people, even though they may claim to, to cleanse their stuff, cleanse it yourself because you just never know. Same thing if you buy stuff secondhand, you know, you just never know, especially if you feel it. If you are naturally sensitive to feeling energies, you will feel something if there's something attached. So that's what happened. I had a little spirit attachment to this. I felt it when I opened it, but I didn't do what I should have done was cleanse it. I just was like, oh, this is a powerful stone. <laughs> but I didn't realize it was going to come with all of this stuff. So um, that is my story for my spirit attachment necklace. And thank you guys for listening. And I will talk to you later. Leave comments. I want to know. Leave me a comment below if you have ever experienced a spirit attachment in anything. I want to know. Tell me all about it. And until then, I will talk to you guys later.